Welcome back to the show. You are listening to episode 71 of In the Hall podcast. The Kyle Rittenhouse trial is everywhere. I thought nobody knew about Kyle Rittenhouse because for the last three months, six months actually, however long this thing's been going on, like right when it happened, I was like, hey, did anyone see that that 15-year-old kid shoot three people that were sex offenders and they called it the Kenosha hat trick? I thought that was pretty interesting and then no one... No one gave a shit, and now it's the biggest trial ever, and I think, not only be, because it's the funniest trial ever, we'll get into that in a second, but the Ghislaine Maxwell trial is going on right now, uh, the whole Epstein thing. If, you're, if you've been under a rock, every world leader and public figure was flying to a private island and having sex with children, and now nobody cares about that definitely not the mainstream media they're like hey can you put that can you put that 15 year old kid that shot three sex offenders in self-defense can you put that everywhere we're trying, we're trying to handle this just lane trial so nobody cares about that anymore everyone's like what uh, uh, an international pedophile ring with all the world leaders we don't give a shit about that we're watching the kyle rittenhouse trial you know the 14 day news cycle has wiped everyone's brain clean again. Every 14 days, just a quick reset of everybody's brain. And then we're focused on what's the next thing we can be outraged at. So now they're making this thing a a race issue, claiming that this 15-year-old kid is a Klansman because he shot three white people. I don't know what's going on. Even black people are are, are being called white supremacists. Like the world is just so fucked. It's it's unbelievable. It's literally that sk- the Dave Chappelle sketch, the the white guy that's in the clan cuz he doesn't know he's black cuz he's blind. That's literally like what what they're trying to do, like they're just everything is a reverse. So dude, this Kyle Rittenhouse trial, I mean, he's going to he's going to get more money than that one kid got from uh from CNN. What was it, Nicholas Sandman or something? $250 million, a defamation lawsuit because they slandered him everywhere. Dude, Kyle Rittenhouse. I mean, it's clear self-defense. Like, there's no bias. It's like, dude, he was chased by three people. One of them had a handgun. I think multiple. One other guy had, like, a knife. They chased him. He fell to the ground. He turns around. There's a guy with a pistol right behind him. He shoots all three of them. They call it the Kenosha hat trick. And then it turns out the people he shot were like sex offenders and they were white. So it's like who, you know, and thank God they were white. Let me just say that. Thank God. You know, it's like nowadays you have to make a choice as a white guy. If you're driving through an intersection and God forbid there's a, a black guy and an Asian guy in the intersection and you have to pick. You're going to hit one of them. But you have to pick. I, I think I'm going to hit the Asian guy. You know, after Squid Games, I think everything, the Asian hate thing kind of calmed down. You know, but God forbid you hit a black guy with your car as a white guy. They meet you like, oh, I'm immediately going to be on CNN. They're going to pull up some old tweet. They're going to pull up these podcasts. Comedian Sean Madden uh, is involved in a hate crime. And I'm like, well, actually, actually, he ran across the road. I I didn't see him. It wasn't intentional. Boom. They're going to Photoshop a a MAGA hat on my head. It's going to be fucking over. Yeah. So I'm I'm joking, but I'm not. Yeah. So anyway, they're making this, uh, they're making this thing about race. And I'm like, what's going on here? I know the whole argument's like, well, this kid shouldn't have been there at the uh, at the riot. It's like, yeah, no one should have been there. What about the people that were pushing? You see the video of the people pushing a flaming dumpster into a gas station to try and detonate it like an action movie? I'm like, dude, that's domestic terrorism. Should they have been? Like, they, they're allowed to be there? I just don't get it. I don't... It, it's like the weirdest... Hip hop hypocrisy, and it's all a distraction, you know. And I really think it's because of the the Ghislaine trial. Please put the cameras on 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 the child that shot that shot the sex offender. 
And just Lane was saying she doesn't want her she doesn't want anyone to be referred as a victim. Don't don't refer to those children as victims. They were flown out. They were flown private to an island. They should have been happy they were there. So what we diddled them. We gave them a little You know? We gave them a little But they had they had <laughs> they had daiquiris, strawberry daiquiris. They never had that in their in their country. They were lucky they were sold into sex trafficking. Oh man. So dude, they pulled up Kyle Rittenhouse's TikTok account. Well, one they're saying they're like, Do you play Call of Duty? And he's like, Yeah. And they're like, see your honor? He plays Call of Duty. He's been wanting to kill. And it's like, whoa, everyone plays Call of Duty. And and no one plays Call of Duty and goes, wow, and then just runs out into the street and starts shooting. So, do they pull up this guy's TikTok, Kyle's, and this has got to be one of the funniest clips I've ever seen. Are you fucking, dude, I played this clip twice just to make sure it was ready to go. Like, oh, all I have to do is hit play. Are you fucking serious? All I had to do was hit play, and it'd be it'd be good to go. And, of course. TikTok account. That was a TikTok account that you had during the summer of 2020, correct? Yes. And it says your name on there, Kyle? Yes. Your username on TikTok was Four Doors More Whores. <laughs> And that's a picture of you there with your AR-15, correct? Yes. I mean, that's not a good look, though. I mean, the AR-15 comes up a lot in his in his profile. I mean, he's proud to have this thing. That's for sure. Uh, I mean, it's still self-defense either way. He should get some kind of charge for crossing state lines and with it. And, and you know, it is... Bottom line, it was self-defense, but no one should have been there. It was, a, it was a shit show. But they pull up his TikTok account. He has an AR-15 in his hand in the profile pic, and it's four doors, <laughs> more whores. And meaning, if, he has, if you have a four-door car, you can fit more whores in it, for those of you who don't know. Uh, <laughs> dude, this is fucking 24 followers, and his bio is, bruh, I'm just trying to be famous. Well... You are. You did it. You know. You manifested that. Holy shit. Bruh, I'm just trying to be famous. Four doors, more whores. And he had to answer that with a straight face. We got to run this back. That was a TikTok account that you had during the summer of 2020, correct? Yes. And it says your name on there, Kyle? (laughs) Yes. Your... Username on TikTok was Four Doors More Whores. <laughs> How does nobody laugh? There with your How is nobody in the courtroom dying? Oh, everyone's silent. That's why. That's why they probably never give me jury duty. They probably just look at my social media. They're like, yeah, we're not gonna, we're not gonna give them jury duty. Knock on wood. I hope I never get that shit. I move too much for them to find me. But uh. Oh, my God, that's funny. Four doors, more whores. You would have heard, ah, from the back of the room if I was in there. Oh, my God. And you got LeBron James tweeting about the case. He was like, those are fake tears. He's not remorseful. I'm like, oh, my God, LeBron. Can you just can you just be a, a superstar ball player and – not have to get involved. That's when I'm like, these everyone's compromised. They're like probably paying them. Hey, can you can you bring more light to the Rittenhouse case to distract from the just lane? They probably they probably don't tell you, you know, like what you're what or why you're doing something. They just say, hey, can you can you fire off a tweet about Kyle Rittenhouse? He was like, these those weren't fake tears. You know, there's a video of him crying on pretty much everywhere you go online. And uh, I'm like, yeah, you would know. 
about fake tears, LeBron. I mean, I've never seen a guy that's six, seven, two hundred plus pounds and just fall like a soccer player every game. It's just like embarrassing. That's why I miss like the like he should be running people over, but it's like no, he, he's just every time I see like a LeBron highlight, he's like flailing at the ref. That's all sports is now is just people flailing for a call. Please ref, please. Please give me a free throw or something to make my job easier. That's all it is. Can I please get, like, you know, all the all the wide receivers in the NFL now are like, that's fucking pass interference. It's like, dude, just make a play. That's why I love the UFC now. It's just one-on-one. There's no – they don't spray get vaccinated in the grass on the baseball field. They're not doing any of that. They're just selling fucking liquor, energy drinks, Modelo, and it's one on one, and there's no there's no bullshit. Anyway, get off this Kyle Rittenhouse thing. Sure, other podcasts are probably beating it to death, uh, as well as the media. But he's gonna get paid, man. That one guy, Nicholas Sandman, what was his name? He was uh, in that like video where they made it seem like he was yelling at like Native Americans, and they were like, "Look at this white supremacist." And uh, he got like two hundred and fifty million dollars from CNN. So I can't imagine what Kyle's going to get paid in defamation lawsuits when he gets off. He's going to be balling. He's going to have a reality show. <laughs> How many people are going to change their gamer tag on Call of Duty to Kyle Rittenhouse so it says you got killed by Kyle Rittenhouse? I'm sure there's already a thousand. Gamer tags. Let's get into this metaverse thing, man. Speaking of the UFC, I was watching the free fights uh, Saturday. I don't, I don't know why. Some of them are pay per view. Some of them aren't. I still don't know much about it. I guess they run ads, and every ad was the metaverse for Facebook. So Mark Zuckerberg's trying to create another matrix, basically where you put on virtual reality goggles, go into another reality, and you just live in there, and you only take the headset off to eat eat lunch or whatever. <laughs> and uh, I know pe- people are going to do it. Yeah, they're just gonna be like, fuck this. Fuck this reality. I'm going to go live in the metaverse and just put on goggles and never interact with any human being ever again. Just stay in their, their apartment. I see some people doing that. But I don't, I don't, I don't see everybody doing that. And if everybody does... I mean, can you imagine if everybody's at their house with virtual rea- reality goggles and the people that aren't are just breaking into those people's houses and stealing all their shit? You know, you're sitting there, you're in the metaverse, you're fucking, you're looking around. Oh, look. Hey, guys, let's go over there. As you're jogging in place. Let's go over here. And then meanwhile, some guy's just creeping in behind you. <laughs> he takes your watch. Off your dresser. He's just stealing all your shit while you're in the metaverse. Uh, There's already people. I saw something. There's already people selling real estate in this virtual world. So you can have a good view in a virtual. It's like. No. Like, well, I can't. uh, I can't afford to live in Malibu. But uh, if I go into the metaverse. I can get a. It looks just like it. Yeah. Meanwhile, you're standing in like cat piss because you haven't changed your, you haven't changed your animal's litter in like two months. Oh, it's just like Malibu. It's like no, you're, you're standing in piss, but it looks like Malibu. That'll be the day when they get the uh, the video games where where like the TV sprays out a scent so it. Everything tastes and feels and sounds like you're actually there. But, yeah, I know some people do. They're going to be – they can't wait for this. I can't wait to be somebody else in another reality. I mean, I guess Grand Theft Auto Online is kind of like that. If you ever played that, you can kind of, like, build your character. You can get, like, a – you can buy real estate, like a 10-car garage. That's kind of cool. I'd rather – I'd rather have that in real life, you know. But but some people just uh, 
they don't want to work for it. So they'll jump into the into the metaverse. But yeah, I just picture home invasions going up on the rise since everyone's <laughs> no one gives a shit about this reality anymore. So then the people that aren't in the metaverse are just basically robbing everyone else. Oh, what else we got? Rise of the racist robots. How AI is learning all our worst impulses. There is a saying in computer science, garbage in, garbage out. When we feed machines data that reflects our prejudice, they mimic them. From anti-Semitic chatbots to racially biased software, does horrifying future await people forced to live at the mercy of algorithms? Oh, dude, how funny is that? They're like, <laughs> we, they're like we've, we've developed the most sophisticated AI of all time. It is human-like. Meet Robert 4000. And then this Robert, Robert the Robot comes in and goes, you know why Asians can't drive? And they're like, no, 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 no. Because their eyes are slanted. And they're like, fuck. All right, reset it. We got to figure out where the algorithm went wrong. Shit. All right, let's try this again. Why do Jews wear yarmulkes? Oh, fuck. Unplug him. Can you unplug him? Because they unplugged him. Please unplug the robot. Oh, that's funny, dude. I mean, yeah, what if what if AI just exposes everyone as slightly racist? They're like, we got it. They're like, we we finally fixed the algorithm. We've made we made a robot that can drive. And then as soon as the robot gets in traffic, it becomes racist. And they're like, shit, I guess no matter what we do, everyone's gonna be a little racist. It's just they're like, it's just nature. It's natural. Natural racism. Oh. God, that's funny. <laughs> An anti-Semitic chat bot. Aren't those the things where you go on a website and a little thing pops up and it's like, hey, I'm Aaron. How can I help you? And you can like type and it and it types back or like redirects you. Oh, my God, that's so funny. <laughs> You're like, yeah, I'm looking for the red Toyota Corolla. Do you have any in stock? And it just replies. <laughs> Do you know why Jews have big noses? Question mark. You're like, what the fuck is going on? You're like, ah, oh, shit. Did you finish the chat bot? Yeah, but it's anti-Semitic. This is... This is not good. I got a big nose, too. People ask me if I'm Jewish when I lived in New York. They're like, are you Jewish? I'm like, I don't know. I just said yes, in case they were a casting director. Are you Jewish? Oh, yes. Shalom, my friend. Yeah, here's the article. Just Lane Maxwell doesn't want accusers being called victims at trial. That is hilarious. She also said she wasn't doing well in prison. Said, she said, the gods are giving me rotten apples with maggots in them. I don't even have shoes that fit. That's what she said. She doesn't have shoes that fit. If only you can go to my London estate and fetch me my Chanel slip-ons. That would be great, darling. <laughs> this is just... Oh, man. We'll wrap it up here. Uh, woman climbs into lion enclosure at Bronx Zoo. Groceries, cars, housing, going to Whoa. the roof. Stephanie Murphy caved in. Promised to stop the left from raising our taxes. Now says she'll vote Stephanie yes. Murphy. Tell Murphy, fuck. don't betray us. Vote no like don't you Don't betray cost. us, Stephanie. Come on. I love these political ads. On gas, groceries, oh, cars, back to housing, back. Going they doubled the down on her ass. Stephanie Murphy caved in. Promise YouTube's like, we're going to put two ads. They go, now, now says run the same yes. way twice. Tell 
All right, we'll a harrowing sight at the iconic Bronx Zoo when a woman was spotted inside the lion enclosure dancing and throwing money in the air. Officials believe she has pulled a stunt like this before. Here's Amber Cagliano. She's making it rain in the lion's den. What is she thinking? A woman wearing a brassy blonde wig and tight red dress carrying a bouquet of roses climbed into the lion enclosure at the Bronx Zoo. Yup, she's professing her love for the king of the jungle. She even throws dollar bills at the beast. The lion she make it doesn't a music seem video? Impressed. So how close did she get to the lions? Well, she climbed over this low fence, but what stopped her was this deep trench. And lucky for her, because that trench may have saved her life. And if this stunt looks familiar, I don't it think she's should. worried about the trench. I want to get closer to that. Back in 2019, she did the same thing. Back then, Maya Autry Wait, was this is her with criminal trespass. This is her second time jumping into the lion enclosure. You think they'd have a photo of her at the front of the park. Hey, if you guys ever see this lady again, can you deny her entry? Oh, she will. I mean, granted, she did have a, a blonde wig on. And banned so. from the zoo, which explains the blonde wig. It's her uh. attempt at a disguise. I love her so much. A zoo spokesman pointed out that the intruder crossed a barrier into a planted area near the exhibit. The woman was not in the exhibit, and she was never in the same space as the lions. Wildlife expert Ron yeah, McGill to cover says their ass. this was really foolish. You've got to remember this. You can take an animal out of the wild. You can never take the wild out of the animal. The lady could have easily been killed. <laughs> Well, I mean, you got to get the TikTok popping somehow. That looked like a music video, though. She was, like, throwing money in the air with, with lions in the background, looking at her like, can we eat this bitch? Dude, I saw a video of a Chinese guy fell into this tiger den, and people were throwing stuff at the tiger, trying to keep it away from the guy. I guess he, you know, he was trying to get a good picture, I guess, and he just flipped over the railing and fell about 10 feet into a, it was a concrete wall, and so he couldn't climb out of it. And this lion just grabs him by the neck and just takes off running and goes up a tree. Like, runs up a tree holding a grown man. Granted, he was Chinese. He was like 5'5", five five, you know, on, on a rice diet. So, he's probably a 90-pound soaking wet. But still, the tiger carried a man into a tree. And the video cuts. And, like, you don't, you know, you don't want to see something like that. But when someone sends it to you, you're going to click on it, you know. You're just like, ah, I don't want to watch this play. Yeah, man, episode 71. Thank you for being here. Episode brought to you by Trill Trees, 2000 Cotner Ave, Los Angeles. If you like the show, leave a review. Hit the thumbs up. Five stars. All that good stuff, man. Thanks to everyone who's been sharing the videos, especially on Instagram. I'm at I'm Sean Madden on Instagram. I'm putting up uh, two sketches a week. Shout out to Cranar, man. He's been sharing literally every video. That's my guy out there up in New York, man, Staten Island. He's been, uh, he's been hooking it up. So, dude, uh, shout out to him and everyone else who's been sharing the videos. YouTube, Sean Madden Comedy. I put up uh, video episodes sketches there's a vlog up i'm gonna be putting uh oh the vlog thing dude it's a lot of editing man between the podcast the sketches and the the stand-up clips and all that it's just like so much editing man as soon as i can afford to outsource it i'll have more time to be putting up uh more stuff so if you guys like what i do uh please like subscribe and uh that way i can get an editor uh sooner than later so appreciate it. Uh, love you guys. I will see you next week. That's episode 71 of In the Hall podcast. Peace. You want, you want to smoke something? You see him perform all over LA. Give it up for Sean Madden, everybody. What have we got here? A fucking comedian. This show's not going to go well. <laughs>